Hi, this is Big Dog Sporting here, and today we have a request, uh, another request from a customer who is running a lot of our ported parts, and he's running the Anderson three and a half inch power pipe and um, a can in filter, this six inch can in filter. Um, and one of the things that we try to emphasize when we are talking to customers is the point of airflow. You know, um, with these small block Fords, um, this is power pipe is for uh, yeah, Fox body, um, by the way. Um, with these small block Fords, people say, well, they're only a 302 cubic inch. So I can get away with BBK restrictive shorty headers. I can get away with BBK uh, restrictive, you know, long tube headers. I can get away with BBK intake pipe. And, you know, of course, the motor will still run. It will still make more power than stock. But you're leaving a lot of power, potential power on the table by not maximizing your parts. And our philosophy is if you're going to go through the trouble of taking your exhaust system loose, taking your factory ex you know, exhaust manifolds loose, um, taking your intake manifolds loose, taking your factory you know, um, air pipes loose, you might as well put the best back on that you can. You know, and he has a um, three and a half inch Anderson power pipe on um, inner fender well. You know, not a uh, engine compartment, but he has the fender well like this one. And although they support power, you know, although they flow more in the stock, they still um, are actually a bottleneck when you start using our ported intake manifolds and our ported throttle bodies. Now, our 75 millimeter ported throttle body that we sell for the Fox body flows over 1200 CFM by itself with the radius, okay? Our stage two GT40 Explorer manifolds throttle body tunnel flows over a thousand forty CFM by itself. So anything that you put before that that flows less than that is actually going to restrict the manifold and restrict the runners on that manifold. You have to be able to feed our ported parts. If not, they're not going to flow. You know what we flow them on because when we flow them, we're not flow, flowing them with. A restrictive intake pipe or restrictive air filter or a restrictive throttle body we're flowing them wide open so if you get an intake from us and it has an average bullet together flow of 270 275 cfm and you go put you know a bbk on there yeah it's gonna still flow but it's not gonna flow what was listed because the bbk intake pipe is a restriction so we just want you guys to understand that you have to make sure there are no restrictions or minimize the restrictions because we know everybody, you know, uh, can't get the best of the best um, and can't, you know, they have a budget. We understand that. But we just want you to understand how this all works. So we have a three and a half inch Anderson power pipe right here with a six inch can and filter. Now, we like to run the 9-inch filter um, because it gives you more surface area and they flow more. This can in filter, uh, I believe, flows like 1,100 CFM, okay? Um, it's pretty good. But like I said before, if you have our Stage 3, you know, Explorer GT40, then 1,100 CFM is not going to be enough because our Stage 3 um, Explore GT40 flows um, around, it flows over 1100 at the 80 millimeter throttle body tunnel. So we're going to flow this assembly, this Canon filter, with this Anderson three and a half inch power pipe. 
to see exactly what's going to the throttle body and to the intake manifold um, that you're running. So we're going to pause it and set up the flow bench. Okay, now we have the flow bench set up. We have it all sealed up with the filter. We're going to cut it on. So you're at about, about 968. 960 yeah about 967 68 so right there that <laughs> that three and a half inch anderson power pipe flows about 968 cfm you know so pretty much 970 cfm which is less than our 1200 CFM 75 millimeter ported throttle body. So while you guys are worrying about, you know, your intake manifold flow, your cylinder head flow, your throttle body flow, you're restricting all of that by putting this stuff on. And this is what we try to tell you guys when we message back and forth on our, our business page when we're setting up your orders. We're telling you, it doesn't make a difference if you go with, you know, 11R heads if you're going to have a BBK, you know, cold air intake on it. It doesn't make a difference if you have a ported, you know, uh, trick flow R manifold if you're going to put a restrictive air filter on it. You have to think more than just the hard parts. You know, you have to think from... The air filter to the tailpipe. That's the way you guys have to understand this. You know, your parts, uh, you know, ported, our stage two ported GT40 heads flow around 233, 235 CFM at 600 thousands. Okay. Um, at 500 thousands, they're still around 230. So if you do the calculations at 100% VE, 230 CFM can support well over 450 horsepower. So when you guys put these expensive heads on 302s and out the box system X twos and 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 you know Victor 5 volts and you're only making 330 rear wheel horsepower, you're not maximizing your parts. There's something wrong as a bottleneck. Usually it's because you got restrictive headers. You know, you think, well, I go buy some aftermarket headers. They should automatically flow what I need. They flow better than stock, but they're restriction. You guys seen us do um, videos on the BBKs, you know, on, on the shorty headers, on the long tube headers out the box. They're restriction. Same thing you just saw with this intake pipe. You know, a three and a half inch Anderson pipe doesn't even flow a thousand CFM with this with this filter. You know, so I just want you guys to, to understand, you know, we're trying to get you guys to make the most power. Spending the least amount of money. That's our goal. If you guys anything, just, you know, don't argue with us when we try to help you. We're trying to get you to make the power to, and save money. You know, we're not like these other guys out here who will tell you, yeah, you need 11R heads with titanium retainers and these special springs that cost $1,500 just to run a cam, and you're making no more power than the guy with our Stage 2 GT40 heads, you know, our pack uh, on, on springs, and one of our off-the-shelf uh, uh, cams, our big dog stage two or stage three cam, and he's saving a ton more money. You know, these guys out here are trying to take your money. You know, they don't really care about maximizing your combo like we do. So this is why we show you guys these things. This is why we we flow test and we post up videos to show you. That way, you guys can make educated and conscious purchasing. Because you have the knowledge and the info. How many other people have actually done this? Have actually flowed an Anderson power pipe and posted it and showed you guys. 970 CFM. 
That's all it flows. Now, it's better than factory, but is there a better setup? Yeah. Is there a setup that's going to allow for more airflow? Yeah, it is. I'm pretty sure Anderson won't tell you that. <laughs> and not to knock them. It's a nice piece. You know, good quality welds. You know, this one was polished. You know, it's a nice piece. But in my opinion, it's overpriced. And it doesn't even flow a thousand CFM. So once again, this is Big Dogs Porting. You guys can check us out on our Facebook business page at Big Dogs Porting. Um, if you like this video, if you want to see more stuff like this, that's gonna give you guys the raw truth, tell you the you know the real deal. Like, comment, subscribe. That way we know you guys are interested. You know, if we don't see a lot of likes or comments or whatever. You know, we tend not to post these type of videos. So once again, so you guys at the track.